Pikachu here, and today we'll be making crispy mushroom nuggets. <gasps> They're like chicken nuggets, except mushroom. Perfect for all my vegans and vegetarians out there, and for our carnivores that need a bit of veggie in their life. And the flavor? A little McNuggety, a lot mushroomy, and a crispy crunch that's, oh, so good. So stick around till the end and we can eat it together. Now let's get mushroom nuggeting. Nugget, 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 nugget. Miku's farmer's market is back and business is thriving for her. This week she hunted some wild baby king oyster mushrooms. Wow, so fancy. She says that mushrooms are poppin' this season and to hurry up and buy them because I'm holding up the line behind me. Which is a bit rude of her because I gave her a free haircut last week, but whatever. I'll simply wipe the dirt off the mushrooms because they'll become waterlogged if you wash them underwater. It absorbs the water like a sponge. Unless you want to eat fried sponges. Slice them into little mushroom coins with the thickness around the meaty part of your left index finger. Isn't the sound of king oyster mushrooms being sliced so pleasant? It's like nails on a chalkboard, which is obviously my favorite sound. The mushrooms will shrink a little once they get cooked, so make sure not to slice them too thin. Also, I won't be using the mushroom caps. I'll be saving them for my vegetable roast for dinner tonight. And speaking of mushrooms, my favorite character in Super Mario is Toad. Okay, I choose Toad for everything. Mario Kart, Toad. Mario Party, Toad. To a bowl combine, AP flour, cornstarch, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and black pepper. Do a little mixy mix, make sure everything is well combined. Then immediately add in cold water. Yes, I'm specifically asking for cold. Then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix. The consistency we're aiming for is that of a pancake batter, but not the fancy souffle jiggly pancake batter. More like the batter you get from boxed pancake mix. Toss in a couple mushrooms, gently coating them, and you see, in order to flavorify our mushrooms, we can't really brine them like you would for raw chicken. So instead, we will dip them in a nice coat a flavorful wet batter. Delicately remove the mushrooms from the batter and toss them into a pool of panko. I love working with king oyster mushrooms because they have a meatier and chewier texture than that of a typical button mushroom. Queen oyster mushrooms would also work too. Haha, uh -huh, just kidding. There's no such thing as a queen oyster mushroom. But someone should really grow some because we love gender equality here in Look at Choose Kitchen. Once cooked, these oyster mushrooms have a similar texture to a scallop. <gasps> Shocking, I know. And as with all mushrooms, they bring a lovely umami, earthy, and nutty flavor to the dish. And if you can't find king oyster, then you could use a different mushroom. Just keep in mind that the texture will be completely different. Once all your mushrooms are coated, it's time to fry. To a pot of oil heated at 375, gently slide in your nuggies, letting them fry in batches until the breading is crispy and golden brown. It should take around one to two minutes. And don't be alarmed by the oil foaming up. That's just the moisture from the mushroom evaporating. You could also air fry or shallow fry them with enough oil to cover the nugget. But I don't wanna worry about flipping them. So deep frying it is. And here is my impersonation of the mushrooms frying. Once your mushrooms are golden brown, transfer them to a wire rack. And while we wait, here's a song dedicated to mushrooms. I love mushrooms, mushrooms are so good. Mush, room, a mush that's room. Thank you. While our mushroom nuggets cool, let's make a quick dipping sauce. Today I'm bringing out the big guns, AKA jalapeno peppers. Finally dice them, cause nobody wants to take a bite into a giant jalapeno chunk. Actually, except me, cause I love munching on them as a side dish to pair with a nice juicy, thick Italian sub. And no, I'm actually not joking for once. Dollop in your mayo, sprinkle in some diced jalapenos, 
fresh garlic, or in my case, frozen. And the pièce de résistance, freshly squeezed lemon juice. Do a little mixy mix, and voila, aioli a la jalapeno. Before we munch away, here's a little ASMR. Serve with a side of our elite garlic jalapeno aioli. And while it's still warm and crispy, let's begin. finished product and I'm super excited Woo! look at that let's try it without the dipping sauce first this is what it looks like on the inside when you first take a bite you get hit with that crispy crunch then you chew a little and you reach that meaty mushroomy center nice and juicy Got an excellent gar hint of garlic and onion flavor. Tastes pretty similar to Chicken McNuggets, you know? Let's do a little dippy dip. Ooh, in our garlic jalapeno aioli. I forgot to cheers, you guys. All right, cheers, first bites for you. Mm, nom nom nom. Tastes like deep fried scallops or deep fried squid. Mmm! The jalapeno garlic aioli pairs perfectly with this. It doesn't overpower it, but it gives a nice creaminess and refreshing flavor. It looks like a chicken McNugget inside. You can't trick people into thinking this is a McNugget, but I feel like people will think that you gave them deep fried scallops. And it's much cheaper than a scallop. This is the perfect alternative for all you plant-based eaters out there. All right, so this gets like a true stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys next time. No. Eat. You don't like it? <laughs> she spit it out. Let me try it out. It tastes amazing. Okay, Miku, you have to grow up.